What's up guys, Reform Stoic here. So uh, I'm going to be responding to this YouTube short from Mark the Messenger called Why Young People Are Leaving the Church. And in this video, he's responding to a TikTok. And uh, I will go ahead and let that YouTube short TikTok play right now. A, are young people leaving the church, do you guys think? Why would they want to stay? Due to the culture of Christianity in 2023, where literally most people who go to church, and I mean Gen Z people, Monday to Saturday, do whatever they want, whenever they want, and however they like it, live in a life of sin, and they come on Sunday, and they put their hands up, like, you know, singing Hosanna in the highest or whatnot, and they pray to God, saying, you know what, God, like, I'm sorry, I know you're a forgiving, loving, merciful God, and abusing God's kindness, abusing God's grace, and, and just, you know, leading the cycle over and over again, where literally you're striving for the bare minimum for a free ticket to heaven, where you go to church service, where you don't even remember the service, it's just boring or whatnot. You just go there to be part of friends or part of a community. Based on the culture of the church today, why would you want to stay? I'm not saying, oh, I, I have a problem who do that. I'm just saying I have a problem who don't follow the Bible yet claim to say that they are, you know, following the Bible and look at guys like me and point and say, oh, and judge me and say, I'm the bad person. And they're like, oh, like I'm a sinner. Well, you know, if your life is no different than mine, except the fact that you just go to church. Why? Okay. So, first of all, I wrote up a very well thought out comment in uh, Mr. Mark the Messenger's comment section, and uh, it was gone like that. Like, you're not allowed to question this guy, all right? You look through his comments, and it's just everybody's like, yo, this is facts, this is facts. Man, you're, you're so great. Like, you're hitting the nail on the head. The video's hitting the nail on the head. And, you know, Mark's just, like, going like, like everything they're, they're saying is true. Um, it is extremely arrogant to think that there are no real Christians at church. And I'm just going to make this response short. Uh, my comment was something along the lines of this. It is extremely arrogant to think that the only real Christians are people who don't go to church the little rant about like oh people are just tired of zoomers who don't really follow the bible and then they just go sing the songs at church and then church is boring it's like wow so that, that's pretty arrogant like what exactly about church is boring like reading the bible worshiping god and then um i said that uh you should look into the the friars of holy orders you know like franciscan friars and dominican friars i mean you don't think that like these are people studied in the word of god i mean maybe you should seek to have a debate with somebody maybe you should have, seek to have a debate with somebody like trent horn or even myself if you'd like mark the messenger i mean you seem to think pretty highly of yourself uh, and then i said in my comment that you seem to be deep in the in the sin of pride and you don't even realize it so yeah and then i said you should um look into the history of saints the the great very diverse and deep history of saints of the church throughout the years and uh but you know we're talking about now i guess but yeah that's pretty much all i have to say about this guys like if you th if you think that like there aren't any real Christians at church, you're going to have to check yourself, man, because that is pride. Like, that is delusional pride. And this Mark the Messenger character, who's, like, telling Christians not to go to church and, like, telling you you're not a real Christian if you go to church, well, if you leave a comment, like, politely explaining how that's ridiculous, it gets deleted like that. Like, the the algorithm or my my phone corrected christians to christian apostrophe s and i was trying to change that immediately after when i saw that and when i tried to submit my edit the comment was gone so you can't criticize this guy at all that's called pride mark the messenger and uh, you should really stop telling people to leave the church because that might be where you could uh, meet potential friends you could meet potential 
wives, you know, maybe people could get you a job. I mean, sounds to me like you just want society to become even more atomized than it already is. Because look, yeah, I mean, to say that everybody who goes to church is a perfect Christian, well, that would also be incorrect. But this idea that all churches are filled to the brim with like disrespectful Zoomers who don't really understand the faith, well, like I said, you should look into holy orders like the Dominicans. I'm a Catholic, and uh, you don't seem to think very highly of Catholics, and um, I would debate you in a second, Mark the Messenger, any time. So if you want to stop running away from me and deleting my comments, but you know, Trend Genius and all the other chosen ones do the same thing, I'd be more than happy to discuss this with you at any time, brother. So, um... God bless you and your audience, and yeah, I think you guys are very misled, and uh, frankly, I think you should go to a church, and I'd highly recommend the Catholic Church, and you know, there's a number of different people that you could ask about the concerns you have, like you have a problem with venerating saints, uh, you know, praying the rosary, ultimately asking Mother Mary for prayers, um, you believe in like salvation by faith alone, but it seems like you don't believe in salvation by faith alone. Like you think a lot of um, just regular Christians like aren't real Christians because they don't follow the Bible. Well, frankly, I don't really think you follow the Bible either. So lots to talk about, man. Would love to have a little discussion with you if you're up for it. But um, I'd honestly lead people to Trent Horn because his channel will probably answer just about all the questions that you have about Catholicism. Anyway, it's uh, three in the morning. I saw that short when I was rolling around in bed after being asleep for like two and a half hours. I'm trying to get my sleeping schedule back in order. I'm not going to say any more. God bless.